Well, thank you, Greg. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, so yeah, my name, my last name is Keller, which has been a little difficult sometimes because there have been many, many times where I've introduced myself to someone and they've said, oh, are you related to Helen Keller? <laughs> and it used to really bother me until I figured out how I'm going to get my revenge against these people. Uh, if I ever have a daughter, I'm going to name her Ellen. <laughs> She'd be like, hi, I'm Ellen Keller. Oh, Helen Keller, are you deaf? No, Ellen Keller, are you deaf? Because my daughter will be a gangster. <laughs> Do y'all, uh, have y'all ever drank so much that you're still drunk when you go into work the next morning? <laughs> I'll just tell you from my experience, that is a good way to get fired from a daycare. Um, <laughs> like, oh, a baby can pee on himself, but I pee on one baby. <laughs> Double standard. <laughs> I, uh, I just recently learned that there is such a thing as a vegetarian hot dog, which is amazing to me. I had no idea tofu had lips and assholes. Uh, I, uh, I like vegetarians, but only ones who are committed to it. You know, like I had lunch with a girl one time who said she was a vegetarian. The waiter came, she ordered a BLT. I'm like, uh, what? She's like, oh, well, I eat bacon. You can't do that. You can't be like, yeah, I'm a virgin. Well, except for threesomes. Uh, yeah. Everyone has to eat. Come on. Uh, <laughs> technology, uh, I feel like technology is making us pretty lazy. You know, like, uh, my bank is two miles from my house, but my grocery store is half a mile from my house. So I'll go to the grocery store and buy the cheapest thing I can find just to get cash back from the register. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't do that without feeling lazy. You're like, yes, can I get two bananas and three hundred dollars, please? Yeah. Don't look at me like that. That monkey had very specific ransom demands. Okay. They say chivalry is dying, right, ladies? Chivalry is dying. A little bit too enthusiastic about that. <laughs> but uh, again, I blame technology for that, you know? Like, uh, back in the day, guys could slay a dragon for you. Now the best we can do is open an automatic door. <laughs> I got this, baby. <laughs> Let me give you some paper towel. It's all about confidence uh, in relationships. Uh, that's why I say, guys, if you're gonna use a pickup line, finish it like you just finished a high school dance team routine. <laughs> like, hey girl, if I told you you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? <laughs> I was at a bar recently, this guy was giving me advice how to talk to women. He's like, watch me, dude. I see him go up to this girl, he's like, hey, so, uh, I really like Barack Obama. He just seems really strong and really smart. Later he comes up to me, he's like, do you see what I did? No. When I said the word strong and smart, I pointed to myself. I'm like, whoa. So if I do that, the girl will associate those words with me and not think I'm shallow and insecure? <laughs> Douchebag. Laws of attraction are so interesting. Like, maybe you guys saw this. Recently, they've come out with a heat-sensitive bra. I swear to God, it's got this special foam. So if a woman is physically attracted to somebody and her body temperature rises, it will display the breasts more prominently. <laughs> they've already got something similar out for men called sweatpants. <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about. I recently saw a, uh, a bra with clear plastic cups. I've never seen one of those in use before, but I feel like not only would that ruin the surprise, that's just got to make a nipple look like a fat kid with his mouth pressed against the window. <laughs> My name is Tom Keller. Thank you all very much. Yeah.